Beautiful sea of Corvettes. Look at that. What a view. What a view. Absolute beautiful view. It's got to be, I don't know. I didn't count how many Corvettes. You count them. There's a lot of them. I know that. All going out to take some pace laps here at Daytona. How good is that? So they're going to go and do a few pace laps. They're going to love that. I think they're going to do three pace laps. Uh, they go down the front straight, but they can't do the high bank turns. They take, keep you down on the uh, flat area. Um, I, I guess it's a safety reason. I don't know. But um, they do keep them down there. I've done, the, done this. The only reason I'm standing here today, I've done this many times. So I, I'm sort of, unless they go up in the banks, I probably won't go again. But it's fun. And if you haven't ever done it, you got to do it once. Just to be on the track is very, very exciting. Some beautiful cars here today. Looking nice. Very nice. Lots of cars. They're still coming. So three left. So it should be a blast. And more to come. More to come. More to come. Pay slap for the Corvette. This is Friday, 2018. Good time is going to be had by all. Hi, how are you? Good. What's your name? Trent Postmas. All right, and you just took a nice ride in this. Let me take a look. Oh, you were in that car right there? Yeah. Get out of town. What was it like? Was it awesome? It was awesome. Oh, that's a beautiful car. I love the yellow. Do you love that yellow? Yeah. Isn't that yellow nice? So you had a good time today? Yeah. yeah very good. I'm just so happy to see. I just, that's amazing, amazing car. They didn't let you drive it. Did they drive the car? What? They let you drive the car? Could you no. drive it? <laughs> well, listen, let me shake. I want to shake your hand. Thank you so much. This, nice to see you here, and I'm sure you had a blast. Did you take some pictures? You got some pictures, right? Yeah. Oh, good, good. Well, you have a great day. Is that your mother over there? Yeah. Oh, aren't you lucky, huh? Well, have fun. Enjoy the day. And uh, I see you got a, oh, you've got a hat signed by all the Corvette drivers. Wow. And number three, Corvette has got the pole position today. Very exciting. Very exciting. Well, congratulations. Large crowd here. The drivers are coming in. Doug Fien's coming in. Should be good. This is all a hard working folk right over here. How you doing today? Food's good. Everything's nice? Everybody behaving themselves over here today? Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> you guys are doing a great job. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Well, at any rate, you know, they've got the BOP set up. We weren't really sure where we were going to be. We thought probably fourth and fifth would have been good. And if we were in within five or six tenths of a second of the leader, that's all we need to be. And uh, guys were working very, very hard. We had the cars split up for the entire, all the, all the practice sessions. So we work on different tire setups, different chassis setups, different gearbox setups. And uh, we decided when we were going to go out to qualify because we had two different setups on the cars. We weren't going to, uh, as in the roar, we weren't going to hook up. We weren't going to do any drafting. We we're just going to let the both cars run independent of one another and, and see how they perform so that we didn't screw up any of the data we were trying to collect. Because obviously qualifying here isn't a big deal. You're running for 24 hours. So starting 123 feet behind isn't going to really make much of a difference. Antonio Garcia. We actually had to wake up to let him know that his car won the pole. <laughs> he was up taking a little nap on the upper stand there. He kind of fallen asleep during qualifying. And then we brought in our two Audi teammates, guys who have been with us for a number of years and do an outstanding job and have kind of really just 
risen to the occasion of being Corvette guys, and I think they enjoy being Corvette guys, because this is something they don't get to experience in their other lifetime. But we got Mike Rockefeller, Marcel Fossler. They're a great bunch, and I can tell you, you can't have more fun. Uh, between all six of them and, and the engineers on the team and the crew guys, we had an absolute ball. We're going to be right next to the Ford GT40s. Oh, baby. What's going on here? Isn't that beautiful? Number three there, the drivers, Magnuson, Garcia, and Rockefeller. Rockefeller. Oliver Gavin, Tommy Milner, and myself, Tesla. All kinds of equipment ready to go, but they're out on track right now on all the gears down there, so they got plenty of stuff to liquids and so forth. Very nice, very impressive. probably see them come in after the practice session. We'll hang out and get you some shots uh, when they're rolling in. Zach, you're up. Team Penske right here. Zach, you're a mic surprise for people this year. I have a funny feeling about the Acura. It's going to be pretty good. Also, Cadillac Racing is down at this end. They are doing very well. Chiva the third, how about that? <laughs> Matt McMurray, and Tristan, Vatia. I hope I still pronounce his name right. But isn't that a nice uh, giveaway? Take one. I'll leave that for somebody, some kid that might want it. That would be a nice, nice to take back home. Great. My goodness gracious me. Look at that, huh? Wow. What else? Oh, what's that? <laughs> Another Ferrari. There's another couple of cars. Alexa. We're all coming in now. AMG. Oh, a beautiful car. Look at this AMG. That's beautiful. Another Ford no, coming. I'm just taking the data stick down. Another one of the GT40s, a beautiful car. Look at this car. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful.